Hello everyone and in this video we are going to discuss about the single sideband suppressor carrier wave and this will be the wave equation that is half AC m of t cos omega ct plus or minus half AC m hat of t sin omega ct. Now this m hat is called as the Hilbert transform of the message signal. So what actually is the Hilbert transform? It is equal to the 90 degrees phase shift of each and every frequency component that is present in the message signal. So as we are considering for our scope in this syllabus that is a single tone message. So uh, 90 degrees phase shift of the message signal is called as m hat of t which is called as Hilbert transform. And as here cos omega ct and sin omega ct are 90 degrees phase shifted. So I can simply write the carrier as also the Hilbert transform of the carrier for the second product. So now what actually is plus or minus. So the, uh, the plus will give the lower sideband signal and the minus will give you the upper sideband signal. So let us connect both the cases and let's see what the difference that we notice in the circuit. So let me connect this circuit now that is single sideband suppressed carrier. So as usual let me take a while loop. So this is my while loop and here I am going to give the control that is create control and now I want uh, four simulate signal blocks. So I want a four simulate signal blocks. So later on I will write the specifications. So let me copy this control C and let me paste this. So now here you can see that we got all the four. So let me do the specifications now that is first message signal that is 100 heads and uh, as usual sampling and the second one let me give it as a carrier so the frequency is 1000 as this is 90 degrees phase shift uh, no need to change here uh, here itself as it will not give any change in the wave so let me change uh, for both here here itself let me change for both 90 degrees here the phase I will place it as 90 degrees and here the frequency as this is Hilbert transform of message the frequency will not change so uh, this is um, I can say Hilbert transform of message and here also I am going to do the Hilbert transform that means I am going to introduce a 90 degrees phase shift in the carrier signal also that is 1000 hertz with a phase shift of 90 degrees so all I want is are both uh, I want two multipliers as this is m1 of t into c1 of t and let me copy this and here i am going to place again so i want two message signals that is uh, i mean two multipliers so that i am going to multiply m of t into c of t and here i am multiplying m hat of t into c hat of t now if i place adder then i will get uh, a double sideband suppressed carrier I sorry, I'm sorry. If I add them, I will get the lower sideband. And uh, let me show you both here itself. Why to do again? So if I place a uh, subtractor here, if I place a subtractor here, I will get the upper sideband signal. You can notice the connections. So here, um, this is the output. So I have to create a graph indicator here that how the SSB waveform will look like and here also I am going to place a graph indicator to get a more clarity one should place <coughs> a spectral analyzer so that which band is present one can uh, clearly get from that spectral measurement itself ok and let me <coughs> copy this so that uh, I have to check for both right what is um, was it upper sideband or lower sideband to check that uh, connect the output here and here also same connect the output and here um, place a graph indicator so that you can observe how the spectrum actually was and whether the sidebands uh, are suppressed or not so similarly here also the demodulation process is same if you multiply with cause you will get the message signal so the carrier that you should multiply should be uh, the initial one so now I am going to multiply this. This is not necessary. If you want to demodulate, then you can do. You can demodulate with any of the bands, either lower side band or upper side band. 
that's not an issue so again you have to pass this through a low pass filter so let me pass this through the low pass filter the circuit may look a bit complicated but it's not actually that complex as you think you can clearly notice here uh, you can place another graph indicator so now this is the whole circuit so let me run this here i am not going to see the message and carrier what is the necessity to see them each and every time so now let me run the circuit so here you can see that um, the spectrum analyzer is let me elaborate this so that you will get more precise idea as usual let me place a 1500 that's enough so you can observe it at 1100 so here also let me place 1500 so you can observe it at 900 so this is the lower sideband so let me see the block so if you add those two then we are getting a lower sideband signal and if you subtract them then you are getting the upper sideband signal which is uh, what i explained earlier so with this you can uh, this is the message signal that we got after the filtering and uh, this is the ssb sc wave it looks similarly like a sinusoidal where why because you can you might think why it is looking like sinusoidal signal why because if you club those two again that is ac that is cos into sin again plus or minus cos into sin which gives cos of a plus b or sin of a plus b or cos of a minus b or sin of a minus b which is a sinusoidal signal in precisely which may be plus or minus or some phase shifted wave but it is a sinusoidal wave so you are getting uh, this form of wave for SSB waveform. So with these two that is lower sideband or upper sideband we suppressed the carrier as well as the other sideband. Here we suppressed the lower sideband and here we suppressed the upper sideband. So in this way you can get the feel of single sideband suppressed carrier. Hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot and that's all for this video and see you in the next one.